Okay, so back with another video. I'm going to do Petri dish again in this mould. Just keeping it covered, stop any bits from getting in it. I'll be using Art Pro Deluxe. I will have to be warming up part A with my cup warmer. Uh, make sure it's all weighed out. Again, I'll be using 170 grams. It's roughly about, I think it's about 30, 28 grams per each of the um, half... I don't know what you call them. Cupcake, chocolate, mould. Anyway, so I'm going to mix the resin up and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've poured our resin in. Um, I did add, this is a different homemade glitter. This is just a little bit of white nail powder. It just gives it a little bit of a shimmer. I added just six drops of that, so equivalent to one drop per each mould piece. Now, I had a request from, I think if I remember rightly, uh, at, at Ali H Free Treble 4, I think it was. She wanted yellow, red and orange in one. So that's what I'm going to go for first. So let's give these three a shake up. Pop the lids off ready. So, how should we go about this one? Uh, let's just go a bit random. Three drips of yellow to start with. Maybe four. And the orange. You can see there's bubbles, but they're just going to get popped by the alcohol inks. Nothing to worry about. And we'll just go in with a couple more yellow. There's the orange in the middle. Put the lids back on them. Just don't need them now. And lastly, another drip of the red. Pop the lid back on. Right, as again, I'll be using the Let's Resin Sinker in the top row. And the Let's Resin refill plus the pearl white mica powder. Because my little ball bearings are magnetic, they keep getting stuck on this little pin here. I jake gently, look. <laughs> Good tap. I always put little ball bearings in there, it just helps the mixing process. So let's go with the first layer of sinker on the Let's Resin. One of the 26 set. We will be doing more. I want to see if I can push the colours down further this time. So this is the one with the white pearlescent in it. Which gives us that, you can see that goldy sparkle. We'll be doing another layer in that one in a minute. And now for the next one, I'm going for forest green, midnight blue, and purple. So I'm just going to go two with the green. And then three of the midnight blue. And then to free the purple. I'm just going to let them spread out a minute. I'm definitely going to have to put some more in. So let's top up that forest green. Let's 
in the midnight blue. And then with our purple slurple, try and clear up any of those negative patches. I think we're pretty much all negative gone there. Get them out of the way a minute. Sorry about the arms. Now we're going to go one lot of dripping with the normal resin sinker. And then a second light in here. And repeat one with the pearlescent mica in it. And for the last one. Uh, do I or don't I? I was going to go purple, red, blue and a ceruleum. But I'm thinking whether to go with purplish red, blue and the orange. Let's live dangerously. <laughs> Might get some durian in these ones, but we'll see. Our blue for now. I think we'll add our orange. No, yeah. If you hear any funny noises, just my dog down there scratching and farting. Look, Mum is calling you, Bruce. See. Sorry, just have to let the dog out, and he has definitely been breaking wind. Good. Right now, with our purplish red. Then we'll go a bit with the blue again. Do you know what we're going to get out of these ones? Again with a bit more of the orange. And again, more with the red. I'm just going to let those two calm down a minute. Let them settle. So what I might do, I am going to, because I can see certain colours don't like mix and spread as well, so yellow always fixes those spots that just don't look right I'll give that a few seconds now to calm down it shouldn't take long see it closing back up pulling together and now i'm going to go white 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 and the Pearlescent white in those all again. 
So we'll see which creates the best effect. One lot of dripping, two lots of dripping, or three lots of dripping. I'm nearly halfway through a bottle of white already. Two projects. Oops, sorry if I tap the camera then. We'll make sure there's plenty of white in this one because Hopefully it won't be too much weight, so it blobs. If anyone does, it'll be this one. Look at this one, going crazy. They're yeah, all going a bit crazy. Hopefully we don't get no blobbing. It's the only thing we don't like. Especially on the front of a piece. It just just kind of ruins it. Which is a shame because sometimes the blobbing down the sides almost looks like you turn it over, it almost looks like mushrooms. Like butter mushrooms on stalks. That's how they look to me anyway. Put all the inks back where they belong, out of the way for now, so I can, I don't know about you guys, but I could sit here watching this moving about, even these are, but really, really slowly, get that middle up a little bit. I will one day make a cardboard frame to go under here, but for now, it'll have to do. Okay, so over with the good old cake cover. Stop any bugs or anything, because I've got the bedroom windows open. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to call that for now, and I'll be back. So we've been, we're 26 minutes in. So about another 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. We will see. I'll wait until it's the right consistency and I'll show you what I mean um, before I start doing the stirring. So I shall see you when it's ready. And I'm going to leave you because I can set an alarm on the Alexa and go in the other room. Because we've got Alexa in the other room and I can set the alarm from here for the other one in the other room if that makes sense. So... I won't do that now because don't want you all your Alexas going off. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. And it has literally just been 15 minutes. There you go. 45. There we go. So, <clears throat> what I do to test it is simply go in the middle because it seems to set from the middle outwards. Let that go in a little bit. You might not be able to see very well from up there, but you can see it's holding on to the stick. And it's creating a string that goes further than a half inch. So that tells me it's the right consistency 
that if I stir it now, the pattern will stay and not disappear. So, I'm going to go subtle with these, but I'm going to use a bigger tip rather than a skinny one. I'm going to try to go with a bigger one and see if you get better. Just nicer swirls. But we'll just try it with this one. Then we'll use this real, it's like chisely, like a whistle mouthpiece in the middle ones. And then we'll go with the skinny for the last two. So let's level that mold off a little bit more. Simply going to go in about three, three or four mil. Once, twice, into the middle, push down a little bit. And then I'm going to twiddle it outwards. It's really holding on. Clean that tip. We'll go for the same on this one. Pull up, stretch, stretch. There it goes. I don't know how this is, what it's going to do, but we shall see. Just going to go in a little bit. A little bit bumpy and wobbly there. Twisty, twisty. Up, down, up, down. Okay, a little bit of alcohol, excuse the arm. A little bit of isopropanol. Just to clean that tip up. And again, just in a little bit, about the depth of the whistle mouthpiece shape. <clears throat> there we go. Right, where's the bit with the alcohol in it? There it is. Pop that one up there out of the way. <clears throat> now for the little spike. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down in like that. Got a feeling this one's going to muddy. Push down in the middle, twiddle it to come up, see the stringiness. Then for the last one, see if I can go left handed.
and then come up a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just wondering, I'm actually going to add another layer of this sparkle sinker after the swirl. Remember, this only had one coat of the sinker. And you see it's thickened up because it's not spreading about. Give it a real good coat. <clears throat> and just around the outside. Just to see what happens. This one looks good. This one looks really good. This one I think is going to be quite nice. This one's going to be okay. This one, not sure about at all. And this one's starting to move again. So we might get a bit more detail. It kind of looks like it's going to continue pushing this one doesn't seem to be too sure of itself but I'm not going to mess about anymore so case of cover and now wait until tomorrow when I shall be back to finish the video guys uh, if you're liking it so far, please like hit that follow button. Recommend me to friends. Um, make a comment, like. It all helps. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the demolding. So everyone, <clears throat> it's been a good twelve hours. Well, it's been 24 hours to be exact. <laughs> Pretty much, well, it's actually been 22 hours. So, we are fully set up. Um, I'm going to start with this one, because I think this one's going to be the, the muddy one. Then I think I'll go with this one because I'm not sure how that's going to come out because I added that the sinker later. Pardon me. So let's have a look at this one first. As always, this is two molds in one. Only because if you use one, you get this flat dimple at the front here on your end piece I'll show you what I mean in a minute so did this one come out okay oh wow that's come out kind of crazy that glitter is a bit OTT I only added six drops so that stuff is powerful I think one or two drops would have been enough. Um, let me come up so you guys can see it better. And I'm going to have to do... Oh, I can't do this camera thing. Um, there are some serious textures. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do some pictures at the end. Oh, sorry about that. But if you were here in person, see if I can tilt my light and get better lighting. Now, you see, you can't. 
Let me see if I can... Yeah, it's got some crazy effects. Okay, let's just move on. It's not the best. If anything, that's my least favourite already. Let's have a look at this one. This one's got the golden sparkle sinker in it. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's... Again, the camera's not showing you all the... The details. Wow. That's kind of crazy. A bit mudded. Around here is mudded, look, if you see what I mean. I've just had the warning that my camera is getting too hot. So let me fill that a minute. I think we'll be alright. I should keep an eye on it. If it cuts out, I shall come back straight away. So this is again with that golden glittery sinker that I adjusted myself. That's more like it. But again, this sparkle I put in the clear, as you can see, is just a bit too much. Oh, look at that flash. <gasps> That's kind of wicked. Well, I'm not... I don't think any of these are going to come out brilliant. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one's without the golden glitter. This is just the Let's Resin. Okay, that's better. Still not getting that feathering that I wanted to get. Got it around the edges here, look. But I wanted it all around here. It's kind of there, but it's very vague and you can already see it in the camera. Do some close-ups at the end. <clears throat> okay, so down to the final two, which was on the request of at Ali for little slash H free trouble four. So this is for you. Right, so let's go for this one, which has got the golden glittery sinker in it. See what we got. That's lovely. Now that's, as you know from the watching the video incomplete, you'll see that I added three lots of the white sinker stroke, glitter sinker. I'm definitely going to miss out this glitter in the resin for doing these in the future because I think it diffracts from the beauty of what's below. Because if you were here and you could see that, this is a real dark ready orange. Whereas on the camera it's nowhere near as dark. So did you see how dark that bit is? Times that by two, if not three. That's the kind of colour you're getting. That's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous that one. So this one with the three... Yeah, three levels of the Let's Resin sinker that comes with a 26 kit, 26 bottle ink set. You get two white sinkers, and I put three lots. Okay. Again, the camera is not showing up. All those details, not the best. And that glitter in the resin is really, really not letting the camera show you what I've created. Oh, I wish I could. No, it's not. Hmm. 
And that shows you a little bit more, but then you've got the reflections of the lights. Okay, guys, so that's that for this one. The next one, what? So here they are in daylight. Texture is definitely interesting. I think that sparkle though should have used less. Well, that one's quite galaxy like. Red, yellow, and orange kind of merged. There is some great texture in there. This one. Definitely my favourite, but this picture doesn't do it justice. So it just proves sometimes, also this one's beautiful. Sometimes less is more. Definitely the smaller stirring sticks give you better effects. Well that is quite nice. Definitely not going to bother with the glitter in the next ones. But overall, they're quite pretty. They'll sell as fridge magnets. People love these sort of things. But in general, less is definitely more. Can't In these ones, you can't really... Got that gold, but you can't... Can't really make it out, especially without like loads of sunlight on them. They kind of flash. Okay, guys, gonna call that end. I don't want to drag it out any longer for you guys. The ones that I added the extra blips in at the end, as you can see, all they do is just create these nasty looking blobs at the sides. What I was hoping was for more of this because oh, that effect, but a little bit this effect down here, but going deeper, didn't get it. Never mind. Upwards and onwards to the next project, which will be another set of these, but I'm going to do less to show you that less is definitely more. I know it started raining, so I'm gonna have to check the humidity later on because it's been really hot, and I don't want humidity. Otherwise, you get resin effect, which no one likes in resin, which is caused by high humidity. The ideal humidity is between 50 and 60 percent. Anything higher, you're gonna get resin. Anything lower can have issues with crystallization and stuff, I think, from memory. Okay, that's the end.